Hello, George Romanic here. Few months ago, I asked a question. In addition to theoretical and sometimes very advanced videos that I am often publishing on this channel, would you like me to make a playlist that describes the main concepts of weather and climate in a simple way? 73% of you said yes, please. 27% of you said no. Existing type and difficulty of current videos is what I like. Given this disproportion, I decided to introduce a list on the fundamentals of weather and climate. However, I will still post advanced videos that will be on Thursday. On Monday, we will have fundamental playlist or fundamentals of weather and climate. If you don't know anything about atmospheric sciences, meteorology, oceanography, this is the playlist you want to watch. What are we going to discuss in this playlist? Fundamentals, as I said. Here is a picture that I took in September 2023 when I was in Barbados. So it's a tropical climate. In this picture, there is so much oceanography and atmospheric sciences. We see oceans. How did oceans form? Why are tropical oceans warmer than higher latitudes? It sounds like a childish question, but there is great depth in answering that question. And you need to understand the overall dynamics of oceans and climate on this planet. We see clouds in this picture. These clouds, these small cumulus clouds, are purely made up of water vapor and liquid water. We see red sky far away. Here is still bluish sky. Some colors in between are here, uh, between red and blue, choppy sea. So many things to be explained. If you watch this playlist, all this will be clear to you. However, if we move from tropical regions, and we go to mid-latitudes. Here is a picture from October 2023 when I visited the Rocky Mountains next to Boulder in Colorado, United States. Here we have the Rocky Mountains. As we will learn in this playlist, topography mountains have tremendous influence on weather and climate. How mountains modify airflow, how they affect temperature. Look, here we have snow on the top of the mountain. Then we have these beautiful clouds. These clouds, compared to those in the tropical region, also have ice crystals in them. Why these clouds have ice crystals and the one in the tropical region do not have, we will discuss all these beautiful things. We also see valley and uh, how valley funnels wind and what is wind channeling effect, we will discuss that. We have forest, different roughness compared to bare ground uh, on the rest of the mountain. Again, something to be discussed. Now, if we move to Canada, here is one of the lakes in Canada, not Great Lake, but one of lakes. But Canada is famous for having a lot of big lakes. And then we get something called the lake uh, snow effect. If you are downstream from lakes, you get much more snow than regions that are not downstream from the lakes. Why is that happening? Again, that will be described in this channel. Again, in Canada, we also have a lot of mountains, beautiful women, and uh, all that will be discussed on this channel. Well, maybe not the latter part, but still, maybe a little bit even that. Now, if we move further, here we see a beautiful thunderstorm. I took picture of this thunderstorm when I was flying over Europe. Look at this cloud that developed here and this huge, huge anvil that the thunderstorm is trailing down the wind. Look how this cloud is dominating the rest of the sky. How thunderstorms develop. Why are they so vertically developed? Why do we have this anvil? Why is it blown down the stream? How does this even work? Why is this cloud producing more precipitation and severe weather than regular clouds in the sky? That will be discussed in this playlist. Here is another picture of a 
thunderstorm, Cumulonimbus cloud that I took in Barbados. This one is just magnificent. Look at this cloud. New cell is developing here. The cloud top is again blown down the stream. And here we see the so-called cirrostratus clouds that quite often form at the end of this cloud top anvil. How does this work? How this new cell forms? Uh, what do these clouds represent? And so on. We will discuss that in this channel. However, these thunderstorms are also associated with severe weather. Here is a photograph from 2018 that I took in London, Ontario, Canada. So fake London, not the actual one in England. Here we see this beautiful, beautiful line of thunderstorms that is approaching city. This was associated with severe weather. Knowing atmospheric sciences and meteorology means knowing how to predict and forecast to the best of our ability severe weather, which is of great importance for safety of people, economy, and economy means many things, tourism, transportation, and so on, businesses. Here is another thing that we will discuss, snow. How snow forms, why snow falls more on mountains than next to the sea quite often. Snow also have very large albedo, what we call, it reflects a lot of radiation. So if you look into the snow, sometimes you have that effect like you are looking into the sun. Why is snow reflecting so much light? How does that affect weather, mm, but climate tremendously? We will discuss that in, uh, in this playlist. Then, of course, we have to talk about hurricanes. Here is a satellite view of great Hurricane Florence. And when Hurricane Florence happened, there were two other trailing hurricanes, Isaac and Helena, which were not as strong as Hurricane Florence. But how hurricanes form, why do they impinge on the south, southeast, east coast of the United States of America and other regions such as Bangladesh? Uh, Bangladesh is, by the way, a country mostly susceptible to damage and hazard caused by hurricanes. Why is that the case? We will discuss that. Where else do we have hurricanes? We will discuss that. Why don't we have hurricanes over South America or uh, western coast of Africa? Well, we will discuss that on this playlist. This playlist, by the way, is fundamental. That means we don't go into equations, complicated derivations. That's reserved for my Thursday videos. And you should watch those videos only if you are a little bit advanced, if you have fundamentals. But this is for everybody. Here is zoom in satellite view of the eye of the Hurricane Florence. Look at this beautiful cloud free uh, part of the sky. It looks like a black hole. How does this develop? What does it mean for weather uh, surrounding the hurricane, namely in this eye wall of the hurricane? We will discuss that in this playlist. The most severe weather phenomenon on this planet, at least in terms of wind intensity, is tornado. This tornado from 2007 that happened in Canada is a classical example of a very strong, I think this was EF4 tornado. We have this funnel cloud, tremendous damage happening close to the surface. We see uh, debris and dust being lifted, all kinds of objects flying around. How tornadoes form? Why are they so strong? How do we classify them? What types of cloud produce them? How big they are? How long they last? And so on and so on. We will discuss that in this fundamental playlist. Of course, we will talk about weather forecasting. That's the central theme of atmospheric sciences. Here is a forecast of smoke uh, spreading in uh, summer of 2023 when we had a lot of wildfires in Canada and how this smoke is spreading uh, along southern Canada and in the rest of the United States. You see, this is the central application of atmospheric sciences and meteorology to tell us what the weather will be like tomorrow. And trust me, after watching this playlist, you will know how difficult that is. You will understand how complex Earth, atmosphere, ocean system really, really is. Here, blue line represents cold front, separating cold air from the north, 
from hot and humid air to the south? How does that affect weather? How does that affect smoke uh, dispersion and so on? We will discuss that here. Here is another photograph of that event when we had a lot of uh, wildfires in uh, uh, northern Quebec. Here is a picture taken just north of Montreal uh, in Laval. And you can see that this is the middle of the day. This is the middle of the day you can basically look at the sun. That's how, the atmosphere, that's how much the atmosphere was polluted. So much particles in the atmosphere that you can look directly at the sun. What are those particles? How does that affect human health? How do we measure them? How do we analyze them? All that will be discussed in this fundamental playlist. Of course, we will talk about climate. This is a schematic of Earth energy budget. How much energy we get from the sun? How much energy uh, we radiate by different means? How much we radiate through radiation? How much we give back to the atmosphere through convection, latent heat release and so on? All that will be discussed here without going into equations so you can understand this even if you don't have mathematical, physical background. So I highly suggest you stick along with this playlist. We will also talk about anthropogenic climate change. What is greenhouse effect? We will talk about natural climate change, astronomical factors affecting climate on our planet. And we will also talk how climate have been changing, has been changing throughout the history of our planet. That's called paleoclimatology. So to conclude, I basically outline here 20 chapters that we will have. I will start in next video by talking about the atmosphere. What is the composition of the atmosphere? How atmosphere formed? And what, what are the typical layers in the atmosphere? Then Earth's energy budget. Where is the energy coming from and how is it distributed? Then we will talk about seasons and temperature variations on this planet, humidity, how fog and clouds form, but then, uh, sorry, how fog and uh, clouds uh, uh, are classified. And then we will talk about one of the fundamental concepts in atmospheric science, and, and that's stability. When you understand the atmospheric stability or static stability, you know 50% of clouds and how they develop, how they move and so on. So, atmospheric stability and cloud development, chapter 6. Then we'll talk about precipitation, how it forms, different types of precipitation, cloud microphysics, then pressure and winds, then general circulation of the atmosphere. Winds at large scale, at the scale of the beautiful planet Earth. And then we will talk about local circulation, that is lake breeze, sea breeze, land breeze, coastal winds, mountain winds, all these uh, urban type cir circulation, all these local circulations that can affect weather at your micro location. Air masses and fronts, mid latitude cyclones, mid latitude cyclones are the big daddy of weather in mid latitudes. In mid latitudes, most of the weather is associated with formation, passage, and dissipation of these mid latitude cyclones, and then thunderstorms and severe weather. A lot of to talk about that. How thunderstorms form? How are they classified? What is severe weather they produce? Tornadoes, downbursts, lightning, hail, other types of strong winds, heavy precipitation, all supercells, all that will be discussed here. Then we will talk about hurricanes, the cost, one of the costliest uh, weather hazards. What is storm surge? How does it form? Why is that flooding so uh, dangerous? for both uh, human life as well as economic damage. And then how do we do weather forecasting? When we know all these fundamentals, now how do we put all that together to forecast weather? Then I will talk about natural climate change, then anthropogenic climate change, then global climatology. This is very interesting chapter because where I will cover entire planet. So you will know general climate of Asia, different parts of Asia, of Australia, of North America, South America, Europe, uh, different regions of these continents will also be covered. So you know climatology of your region. Why wouldn't you know that? That's beautiful. 
air pollution, we will talk about that. And then I will conclude with some peculiar phenomena in the atmosphere. Some of them not so peculiar, like why sky is blue, how uh, halos form, how uh, aurora borealis forms, how sand elm fire forms, and so on. So this very interesting, how rainbows form, different types of rainbows, and so on. So all that will be discussed here. So you see, if you stick around and you cover all these, you, this is way beyond topics of fundamental introductory course to atmospheric sciences and climatology. If you are already taking some of these courses, then this playlist will be very useful for you because you can you know, use it to uh, remind yourself of the topics that your lecturer was teaching in the class. So I, I uh, suggest you subscribe, stick around, because this will be playlist for absolutely everybody. Until next video, goodbye.